All right, so kind of put the homework done with chapter 15. There, if you have questions over any of the homework, you know, we'll, we'll look at them Monday afternoon. Um, uh, anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the electric potential and uh, potential energy. That it's a tricky, tricky, um, it's a tricky thing to kind of get your head around. All right. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. It, it's, it's, it's a little bit tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the current slide. Of course, they should, these are capacitors. This is, this is what a battery looks like in a circuit. All right. And we'll get to all that stuff. We're going to look at the electric potential energy and electric potential difference and electric potential surfaces and the electric field and how they interact. Okay. Um, so I might break this down into a couple, um, just two more quick videos, but, um, anyway, Okay, now, if we had a box sitting on the ground, okay, if we had a box sitting on the ground, and we wanted to raise it up, we'd have to provide a force, right? Have to provide a force, force mass times acceleration, you know, and, and, and lift it up a certain height. Well, what's the acceleration to, to make it even, you know, to, to we got to overcome gravity. So we got to lift it up, mg times an h, and so we get this gravitational potential energy up here all right same thing here same thing here this positive charge q it's inside this parallel plate that we talked about in the homework thing where e is equal to fe over q the 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 force that it's feeling that we got to raise we got to get an outside force to raise that up to bring it up to here okay to raise its potential energy and when we do that here's here's the um Remember, we had Q times Z. That's a force, right? Q times Z. Force times distance. That's work. Force times distance. The distance D between the plates of the battery. That's the work that we did. Okay? So we raised its potential energy. That is not the same thing as electric potential, which we'll get into in a minute. See, because here's gravity. It's a field, right? Which is the weight divided by the mass. Here's the electric... Uh, which is weight is a force. Here's the electric field, which is a field, and it's a force divided by charge. Okay? And so when we raise, so when we take mg times the h and we actually do the work, this is referring to the weight, not the work. When we do work, we raise its potential energy on something. Or we change its kinetic energy. Okay? Just as with the electric field, it is convenient to find a quantity that is the electric potential energy per unit charge. Okay? This is called the electric potential or a voltage. You all know it as a voltage. So the electric potential is equal to the energy divided by the charge, the unit, the per unit charge. Okay? Or the volt, since since the electric potential energy is equal to Q times the electric field times the distance, force times distance, potential energy, the work done to get it up there, when we divide out the Q, we're left with voltage is equal to E times D. So for a pair of obsolete charged plates, the positive charged plates is at a higher electric potential than the negatively charged one. All right, and I haven't even given you, I, I've got to assign you a homework. I just wanted to make sure that you under stood that okay all right this there there is so much stuff that we have just talked about here that it's unbelievable it's unbelievable so what i want to do is i want us to look um uh, this will be enough to get us started plus i will uh give you some problems um you can see look how long 16.1 is before we can get into electric potential services and all that kind of stuff. So we, so I think we can go a little bit. Further. So we go electric potential energy and electric potential difference. All right, electric potential energy. They're two different things. As with potential energy, only changes in the electric potential can be defined. In other words, um, you know, gravitational potential, gravitational potential energy. GPE that we studied in chapter one, the, the height, the delta H was what we looked at, right? The difference in the height. And so it's just the delta. 
It's, it's, and it's arbitrary. What do we mean by arbitrary? In other words, the difference, but what's the difference between 410 meters and 400 meters? 10. What's the difference between 20 meters and 10 meters? 10. So wherever we pick that difference, the difference is still 10. All right, so right here, 1,300 volts, 1,100 volts. The potential difference here is positive, to, between VB and VA is positive 200 volts. Lower potential, higher potential. Or it could be 300 and 100 volts. The choice of V naught is completely arbitrary. Positive chart, here's a huge one. This might be a nice little quiz question you, you might get when you come in. Like, like note to self. Positive charges flow from what to what? When released, they accelerate toward regions of lower potential. Just like when I drop my pen, when I drop my pen, it goes from a higher gravitational potential to a lower because that's where it wants to go. So it's losing potential, gaining kinetic, speeding up. Whereas negative charges, this is what we kind of talked about this afternoon, negative charges when released accelerate toward regions of higher potential. They go up. All right, and then it doesn't matter the path that you take. A is at a higher potential than B. That is so wrong because look, this positive charge here, it's closer. So the potential between uh, B and A, A is at a lower potential than B. And here's the equation for it. Delta V is equal to KQ over R minus KQ over RA. And you get the electric potential. The difference between them is positive here. Electric potential increases when moving near to positive charges or further away from negative charges. And I'm going to, and electric potential, and we're going to stop here. Electric potential decreases when moving farther from positive charges or nearer to negative charges. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few problems on that will kind of get you started on that you can work on. All right, and um, but your your quiz could definitely be over when you come in. These slides, this slide, and this slide, and you know some of the equations. Okay. There's a difference between electric potential energy and electric potential. Electric potential we call voltage. Okay, that's a key point too. It's getting the language down sometimes is tricky. So let me show you this one other thing. Um, and I'll do it in, 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 another, uh, in another life. No. <laughs> did I never, I never did turn on the, oh, I did return on the recording. My God, I was getting ready to go ape. All right, so we'll stop this recording. I'll do another really short one, and we'll call it a day.